Tony Baker with Baker's Bacon, and my wife Tara, Porky, and I are getting ready to, to head out on a three-month trip around the country to visit our customers, and what we hope is a, a post-COVID trip. So let's go ahead and take a look inside, see what we got. All right, we're inside the van, and uh, we started with a 2021 a Mercedes Sprinter van, 4x4, and it's upfitted by Winnebago, they call it Revel. Uh, they add all of the furniture and so forth. Wife's sitting in the driver's seat over there with our dog Porky. So those seats swivel around, which uh, help give you a little extra space in this otherwise very cramped vehicle. Uh, we got a little uh, dinette area here, uh, a bunch of storage and uh, equipment underneath the bench. Um, the sum of our kitchen is, uh, this is about it right here. This is the kitchen. We do have a, a few little things which help out. We've got a little extension shelf that goes in here and uh, surprisingly good sized refrigerator. I don't know if you can see that in there, Jeff. Jeff's filming for us, but we got a good sized fridge in there. Uh, filled with some caffeine, which is something we're gonna need a lot of. Um, induction, so cooktop is uh, induction. We do have 110 power, so induction works great. We've got plenty of power, we have solar. Uh, we have lithium battery packs on board um, and very limited storage, but it seems to work. Silverware, a uh, little, little trash can and some other cleaning supplies. Got our creative way to store spices. Got some very heavy duty magnets with a steel plate on the back and there's even magnets behind that. So really sturdy magnets holding on things like our molten salt and, and some uh, cumin and porcini powder and some other fun things to cook with. We got a small pantry area here. I had to come up with a creative way to store uh, otherwise long knives that would be difficult in the overheads. So again, more magnets seem to work pretty good. And uh, behind me here is our bed. And the bed uh, is pretty clever. Actually has uh, a button right here where the bed actually will go up and down. So when we're done sleeping, we can simply raise the bed up out of the way, creating a ton more storage space in the back. And uh, when we're ready for bed, we just push the button and the bed lowers down into its regular position and gets quite comfy. People ask about bathing a lot. So we do have plenty of hot water. We have fresh water storage tank and a gray tank. Um, a lot of the stuff up here controls all of that. Uh, we have hot running water, a pretty good sized sink. And we actually do have a shower and a, and a proper bathroom, so um, a little snug. We take this out for showering, but uh, the bathroom is pretty good size. And we also have a shower outside the van where we have uh, a curtain that you can put up so you can still use it in campsites and so forth. And, um, and shower outside, which gives you a little bit more room, a bit more, uh, a bit more comfortable. Uh, the van's equipped with its own 5G uh, hotspot. We've got a wee boost antenna on the roof that boosts it, so we should have internet in most places that we're traveling. And um, we have good AC, max fan, air fan. So uh, if we need to pop outside and leave Porky in the van, it's a climate controlled and monitored environment. So I get text alerts if the van gets too warm and we can run back to the van and rescue Porky. Uh, so uh, he should be quite happy in here. And um, that's about it. So this is our, our, our home on the road for the next three months. Oh, one more thing. People ask about our samples. So Jeff, I don't know if you can see there, but on the floor underneath the bed, there's a Dometic cooler. That is a plug-in 12 volt cooler. Pretty badass actually. That thing runs on uh, very little power, 12 volt, and I can put about 80 pounds of bacon samples inside that cooler, um, which means we don't need to worry about melting ice or dry ice or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, we can just load it up and we can uh, resupply ourselves from our distributor chef's warehouse along the way. So that's about it. We head out next Sunday. Uh, our first stop is in Tahoe and Reno. And then we're on to Vegas and then uh, uh, Chicago, Cincinnati and, and on and on and on. So uh, we're even going to stop by in Iowa and visit our farmers and meet with our pigs and see how things are going with them. So it's uh, going to be quite an adventure this next few months. So. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the road.